Havoc and Prodigy were two of the main guys from South Central Cartel. While they were on the West Coast doing their thing, another group got wind of their names, Havoc and Prodigy, and weren't too happy about it. Havoc and Prodigy, where else have we heard that name? Havoc and Prodigy, where else have we heard those names? That's right. The other Havoc and Prodigy are from the legendary group Mob Deep. Anyway, we down there for Jack the Rapper. It was around uh, 92, 93, right when the album came out okay. for uh, Juvenile Hell. So we out there, we chilling, whatever, whatever. We used oh, to I heard with, this story before. We used to f*** with Lil Dap. And you know, the group home, Malachi, Nutcracker, Lil Dap, Premier, Guru. That was like our team. So we all together chilling out there, whatever. We getting drunk, whatever, chilling, hanging out, whatever, whatever. So now, I see these dudes. Now, I heard about these dudes, the, the South Central Cartel. Yes. I heard about them. Okay, I seen right. them in the magazine one day. I'm like, Havoc and Prodigy in the magazine. Like, months before Jack the Rapper, I seen these niggas. So now we drunk at Jack the Rapper. We got our, we got our, um, you know the little f***ing little weapons we had on the cover of the album? Yes. The little sticks with the f***ing knife at the end? Yes. We walking around with these shits. <laughs> so now I see these niggas. I'm like, yo, that's, that's the, that's the niggas right there. So I told Premier, and I said, yo, I'm gonna step to these niggas, son. Right? Niggas, I'm like, yo, yo, um, yo, what's up? What's your niggas name, yo, Havoc and Prodigy? I said, yeah, no, 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 that's us, yo. Mob Deep, we Havoc and Prodigy right here, yo. F*** that nigga stole our name for, yo. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't like that, man. It ain't like that, man. Y'all just the East Coast, and we the West Coast Havoc and Prodigy. I said, no, no, no. What a coincidence. There was a Havoc and Prodigy on the West Coast and a Havoc and Prodigy on the East Coast. But how did this happen? Here is Havoc, the mouthpiece from South Central Cartel, discussing the situation with Mob Deep that led to them meeting face to face at a music conference. First of all, before all of this occurred, um, we received documentation from, at the time, was Havoc and Prodigy, right? Saying that we stole their name, right? Um, Havoc and Prodigy. But remember, me and Prodigy have been Havoc and Prodigy since like 87, 88. You follow me? And um, me and Prodigy had a record called Living in a Crime Way. It was Havoc and Prodigy before we was going to, and got the SEC deal. Check in to the hotel at the Marriott. And um, Prodigy and all them was outside with the, the West Coast was deep that year. So we was all congregating outside by the door. So I said, well, let me go get the keys to the room right quick. And two little bitty young dudes, probably maybe that tall, Right, run up on me because I got on a, a link chain and had a big habit on me. Big habit, you know, gold play. You know, I'm a pretty boy. I want to have all the jewelry, you know what I'm saying? So I'm jewelried out. And they sweated me about the name. Havoc said I stole your name. I stole, you stole my name. You stole my name. Yo, you got to change your name, man. Nah, man, ain't no beef, ain't no problem, man. You know what I'm saying? We just the East, y'all the East Coast, we the West Coast. They kept saying that shit. And I'm looking, right? I got my lopes on. So I take my lopes off and like, looking like, damn, this is like, kids to me. You follow me? And uh, so I said, nigga, I ain't stole shit. Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, you know. And right when that happened, Google. Guru from Gangstar. 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 Pull up on him. And uh, did some shit, you know, and uh, calmed the little, little nigga Situation down, down okay. Right? Real, real quick. Okay. Because he seen me getting hostile. You remember Jack the Rapper when we used to go to that sway? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it was the one in Atlanta. We go, it, 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 we go there, and uh, they were upset about South Central Cartel having the same name as Prodigy and Havoc. So uh, we, we're in the we're in the lobby, and they're walking around with no shirts on, looking like they're 12 years old with Hennessy in, 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 a, in a little <laughs> little Hennessy glass, and looking underage. And they run into each other, and they start saying, "Yo, don't motherfuckers know those odd names. We Prodigy and Havoc that that South Central Cartel like." you Bob Deep and they were going at it I had to break I had to get in between them and give them the logical solution to the whole thing I said first of all y'all are Mob Deep and Prodigy and Havoc is your is your handle name I said y'all are South Central Cartel and you're Prodigy and Havoc don't your handle name so y'all are not uh, call that as the, the name of your group. I said Dr. Dre don't be having beef from NWA with Dr. Dre from MTV Raps and they were like yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, it's all good. And next thing you know, we got all drunk together, smoked together, and had a, had a blast. They became friends. 
Did you and Guru know each other? Or he just knew no, someone was not just, right. No, he just was a good nigga. Rest yeah, in peace. Yeah, yeah, I got love for him to this day. Mm -hmm. Him and his brother Godfather, I mm -hmm. love them. You know what I mean? Because instead of letting it progress and try to jump on with them on me, because mm -hmm. I was by myself, mm -hmm. and um, so I felt like um, I gave him major respect because he, you know, said they're young and whatever. And you know, me being who I am, I'm not, you know, if you can be real with me, I can be real with you. Mm -hmm. So that that squash right then and there. So that was my encounter with them. Had some thing where they was about to fight. Mm. I give it to those little young dudes. We was in in um, Atlanta, and them little dudes approached us. You know, me and my boy Havoc mm -hmm. standing in the hotel lobby chilling, mm -hmm. and six, seven little dudes walk up on us like, "Prodigy, I want to introduce you to Prodigy." Youngsters, little kids, basically little how, young but, dudes. But, but how old were they about then? Can you recall? Man, they had to be 15, 16. Oh, like that? Yeah. Little dude, junior high school, high school dudes. Had if they wasn't, they was just some little niggas. Wow, they look like little kids to me. I never met them before, so I you don't know, know. They look like little kids, and they walked up. <laughs> they walked up on us. Seven D. Niggas had balls. <laughs> you know what I mean? They walked up on us, and you know we sitting, and I'm like, I had heard of Mob Deep or, or Havoc and Prodigy because they had something in the Source magazine, and somebody, one of my folks, had hit me up like, "Man, you seen this?" Wow, okay. But dude, we already doing our shit. SEC okay. popping. So I seen it and I'm like, man, oh, really? Damn, they got the same name as us, but we already on our way. You know what wow, I mean? So wow, I'm not tripping wow. on it, man. I kind of shrugged it off like, I don't know nothing about these dudes. And I kept on, you know, we was cracking. We was cracking before Mob D. Okay. So we kind of, and, and, and you know, when the drama happened, Guru from Gangstar grabbed me and Havoc. And walked us in another direction. Premier grabbed the Mob Deep dudes. Okay. And it was like that was how that ended. That was on Jack the Rapper, right? Jack the Rapper. Man, Gang I miss Jack. Star, the group I... gang star. Wow. Because we was, it probably would have, I don't know, we couldn't have did nothing to them little, they was kids. Them little niggas walked up with the little, the little, um, swords, the little curved sword thing, uh -huh. the little, them li all them little niggas had those things. But the point of the matter was they was little bitty dudes. You know, they was little dudes. And I'm not even that tall, but they was a nice amount smaller than me. So I'm like, man, dude, we would have, it would have been bad. It wow. wouldn't have been a good day. You okay. know what I mean? We wasn't, I, I mean, we wasn't nervous or nothing because they was kids. Mm. You know, but anyway, that was that. They wasn't talking crazy, did they? Yeah, they, I mean, not hell. They didn't, neither one of them didn't say one word. It was their friend, one of their homies oh, that introduced how the shit always them, gets started. and nobody said nothing. But the way they was acting was kind of like you uh, know, okay, like they to... wanted some drama a little bit, okay, you know. But it didn't happen. That's a good thing, you man. know. Gang star guru came in between. They was talking a little shit. We was talking a little shit. You know what I mean? Okay. But nothing really turned in. And then later that night, we was both upstairs in some suite, some party, chilling. Okay, same room. It ended up being y'all just gonna do y'all thing over there. We gonna do our thing over here, and that's that. And then years later, my homie Fody Glock ended up being with Mob Deep. You know, he was up with them dudes. I knew Fody. I produced most of Fody Glock first album, so I knew the dude. Okay. You know what I mean? So it was like at the end of the day, it was, I was like, man, Fody, hook us. You know, we want to sit down and talk to them. But Fody was like, ah. Right. It ain't nothing to talk about. You know, like, mm. it ain't really nothing to talk about. Okay. All you right. Know, so All that right. was it. 